Okay. So just unlock this iPhone with my fingerprint. How is that? How does that work? I thought Touch ID used your fingerprints. Can you see my fingerprints? I was able to open it, unlock this phone using Touch ID with this thumb right here. I don't know. I can't see any fingerprints. I mean, that's pretty fucking slick if we can, uh, we can open it up with <clears throat> through these gloves. I can't, sure as hell can't see any fingerprints. <clears throat> By the way, I have a quarter today. I just looked up all my information here. I have it saved. I'm going to print it out, but um, there's no record of anything scheduled for the Defiant Trespass from last year. This, they keep putting off and keep continuing and keep continuing and keep continuing. There's nothing. <clears throat> um, the last action was April, <clears throat> middle of April. Now I got a letter saying that uh, they rescheduled the Defiant Trespass for today. And then last week, uh, <clears throat> my dad takes my pedophile brother up to uh, the courthouse on the 17th. Now they, I have a letter here showing that they, uh, <clears throat> that they sent me the DA's office and my lawyer it's not that one but um just showing that um there was a hearing scheduled for the 17th. Just so happens my brother is going to be there the exact same time and date. My pedophile brother. Um, if we rewind a little bit to May 4th, I got a letter from the DA's office, no, public defender's office, saying they had a preliminary conference on my behalf when I asked for to be fully involved in my case. Um, they had a preliminary conference on my behalf and they wanted me to come up to the courthouse to discuss my case on May 4th. Not a hearing, just, I didn't go. Just so happens my brother had a hearing the exact same time at the courthouse, May 4th. I, I found that out afterwards. I didn't go, so that's twice now. They tried to make sure that we're in the same place, same time. And then rewind back to um, <clears throat> December 22nd, I believe. Yeah, December 21st, December 21st, um, <clears throat> I had a plea, uh, plea hearing uh, for this defined trespass at Evansburg that they rescheduled for that date. It was, it was previously scheduled for earlier that month. They rescheduled it for that date. Um, I have all this paperwork. <clears throat> And I go up there for that, and I revoke my plea, because I'm not taking a plea. I didn't do anything. Officer Deals is the one that broke the law there. So, just so happened that day, my brother was there the exact same time for a hearing. Exact same floor. So that's one, two, three, three times now within two months that they that me and my pedophile brother, who I want to kill, I don't want to see, or end up at the exact same place and time scheduled, and just so happens, um, my, my things are all rescheduled, I don't know why, the one wasn't even a hearing, it was just, they wanted me to come up to discuss my case, right, and then the May 17th one, 
I got a letter saying that they rescheduled it for May 27th. But when my dad went up there with my brother on the 17th, my lawyer was there. My lawyer said that I was supposed to be there and, and was looking for me. He has never called me. He hasn't called me since. Didn't call me that day. Didn't call me. Um, <clears throat> but, but made out like I was supposed to be there. But I have a letter saying they rescheduled it for today. Now I just got this. From the lawyer. Okay. Saying that um, they have rescheduled this matter now for... What does it say there? June 21st at 11.30. Okay. This is dated May 20th, 2022. Three days after. Okay. Three days after uh, the May 17th hearing. I never got a phone call. Never got anything from the courthouse yet on this. Um, but my lawyer got this saying that he knows the date they rescheduled it. So I look at my case online. Now this is... Was it the 27th? We're a week later after this day, 10 days after the after that last hearing, <clears throat> which they scheduled this this one. And I look online, the last thing, the last sc scheduled event for that case was in April, according to the docket and the court summary. And it says it was a null prost hearing. They, they sent me several letters saying they just plan, plan on dismissing the case. Uh, a couple times I drove up there for my hearing and called up on the way only to find out that they rescheduled it but never sent me anything. <laughs> At the same time, which, as I'm driving through Carrolltown, I'm calling them to find out I'm being followed around by Carrolltown police. I have video of that as well. I mean, it, this, is, this is getting ridiculous. They're playing a sick, sick game trying to make sure I run into my brother. What are the odds that my brother has to go up there today? I don't know. I kind of doubt that one. It's, it's, I don't know. What's also funny is this other hearing. <clears throat> okay. Was scheduled. This is a, a different case now. It was scheduled for May 25th. And I got this letter on May 16th. It's the date of the letter. The day before the May 17th supposed hearing. May 16th saying that they're rescheduling this hearing from the 25th, okay, to the 27th. 25th to the 27th. Why, why would they reschedule for two days later? And it just happens, that's, I have this other letter that, uh, that says that that defiant trespass was, was rescheduled for the 27th. Because previously I had it in my head, I had a hearing the 25th and the 27th. And then the 17th happened and I hear that my lawyer was, was asking my dad where I was at, like I was supposed to be there. Never called me. And they made sure they sent this out the day before and this is rescheduling my 25th hearing for the 27th. So they're going to claim that, oh, oh, we just messed up. We just screwed up the dates. Oops, sorry. Oops. This is a sick, sick game they're playing. <sighs> this is that this is scheduled, and if I don't go, there'll be, there'll be a bench warrant for my arrest. On, on a case that they plan on dismissing the charges. <clears> that <throat> happened last year, in July of last year. They've sent me several letters saying they're dismissing the charges. They've, they've continued it several times for some reason. I don't even know what they need me for if they're dismissing the charges. They sent me a letter wanting me to pay the court costs, requesting I pay the court costs. Of course, I just ignored them all. Why the fuck would I pay court costs on something that I'm not guilty of? That, I'm the victim. <clears throat> They're playing these games. Sick, sick games. What do you do? Just important that I uh, 
get that out there.